Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, in this video, in this video, I am going to show you guys, how to create the transparent contact us form using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, where we can see the full screen background image in the contact form in the center of the page. See whenever we submit the form, we can see a cool submission effect, this is achieved by using a few lines of the jQuery code. Whenever we resize the browser, we can see the contact form being responsive to all versions. This is achieved using the maximum width property. And also go through the Dropbox link below this video, where you can download the project folder of this demo. Let's get started with HTML structure. Create the wrapper div element with the contact us element. Inside the contact us element, consider the title element with text. And below it create the input field div elements with 4 items in it. Inside each item create the label and input field elements. and create the text area field. Finally, create the button development. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I'm going to use Open Sans Google Fonts. First, open the search engine and search for the Google Fonts keyword. And open the first link. Start searching for the Open Sans font family and click the Add button. Then include the CSS import link to our styles sheets. Now start writing the CSS by setting the margin and padding values of all default HTML elements to zero.
to remove the blue outline around the input fields, use the outline property. Here box sizing property includes the padding values into the width. Set the background image to the body, bypassing the image address and URL method. Set no repeating value to remove the repeating of the image. Place the image in the center of the browser using top center value. Set the width 100% and use the background size property, so that the background image will occupy the full width of the browser. Now set the 100% height and see what's going to happen, when we resize the browser window. The background image does not occupy the entire height. Now change the percent to VH value. Where VH viewport height. Now see the background image will occupy the entire width. Set the default font size to 16 pixels. Now add the Open Sans font family to the body and here Sans Serif is the secondary font family. In the case, if browsers do not support the Open Sans fonts, Now place the wrapper div element in the center of the browser, by setting its position value to the absolute, which is relative to the body, and set its top and left values to 50%. And we can clearly see that, the wrapper div element is not placed exactly in the center due to negative margins. To remove the negative margin, we can use the translate method of the transform property. Now style the contact us development by setting its width to 100% and max width to 500 pixels. Here max width property makes the contact us development responsive. Give auto height. And to make the transparent background, give background in the RGBA value, and here A is alpha. And set the alpha value to low. And set the padding and border radius. Now style the title div element, by setting its font size to 2M, here 1M is equal to 16 pixels which is set by default to the body. Which means, now we are setting 32 pixels of the font size to the title div element. And set the line height. Place the text in the center and turn the text to uppercase, set the font weight and letter spacing and change the color of the text. and give the padding bottom. Give the 30 pixels of the right left padding.
set the 100% width and 15 pixels of the padding bottom to the items. Now set the display value of the label elements to block, so that it occupies the full width. Set the font size, color and capitalize the first letter of the label text and give the 5 pixels of the padding bottom. Now style the input field elements, first, make its background to transparent and border value to zero. Now set the one pixel of the solid border. And set the 100% of the width and give the padding. Font size, change the color and give the 3 pixels of the border radius. Style the button div element, by setting margin, background and color. Give the font size and top bottom padding and turn the text to uppercase. Give the 5 pixels of the border radius, and letter spacing. Increase the height of the message field. Fill the form and click the send button. Nothing happens. To make the submission effect after clicking the button, we have to write the few lines of the jQuery code. Go to Google and search for the jQuery Google CDN link, and include it into our head section of the HTML file. Check for the CDN link below this video. Now inside the scripts, start writing the jQuery code. First, write the default jQuery line. 
Whenever the document is ready, a function gets triggers. Now whenever we click the button, the input field and text fields values, value becomes the empty. Write the media queries, and set the input field development's padding value to zero. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.